Okay, let's try this one together. It says, calculate the volume in milliliters um, for this one kilogram of solid silicon, okay? And it, then it gives you the density of silicon, okay? So you need to know a couple of conversion factors. So we have grams here and kilograms here. So we're gonna need to know the conversion factor between grams and kilograms. So how many grams are there in one kilogram? A thousand. A thousand. So let's write that down first, okay? So 1,000 grams equals one kilogram, like that, okay? So there's another conversion factor that you need to know because it wants it in milliliters as opposed to cubic centimeters. So you're going to have to learn how to convert those two, okay? That one's an easy one to remember because one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter, okay? So now we're going to have to use that information and these two things to figure out, well, what's the volume of silicon that we have, okay? So the volume of silicon is going to be 1.00 kilograms. And remember, we don't want it in kilograms, we want it in grams. So we're going to put kilograms down here using that conversion factor there, okay? So what do we put? One kilogram. And what do we put up here? A thousand. A thousand grams. Like that. Watch. Kilograms cancels. Okay, so now we're in grams. So now we can use this conversion factor, okay? Because remember, cubic centimeters, that's a volume unit too, okay? But we don't want it in cubic centimeters, we want it in milliliters, okay? So now we're going to multiply by, well, if we want the volume in cubic centimeters and we want to get rid of grams, well, what are we going to put down here? Grams. Grams, okay? So that's going to be 2.33 grams per one cubic centimeter, like that. So now we have grams canceled out, right? So probably pretty obvious now what we do, right? Just multiply this. What do we put down here? Cubic centimeter. Mm -hmm. And at the top? Millimeter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Cubic centimeters cancel. And now all we have to do is use our calculator. You mind if I? The one thing I forgot to bring in here with me. Okay, so one, uh, one times a thousand, of course, is going to be a thousand. Times one is still going to be a thousand. Times one is going to be a thousand. And then you're just going to divide a thousand by 2.33. And you get. And you want it to three significant figures, remember. Okay? So. In this case, it's going to be 429 milliliters. So that's the volume of your silicone. Okay, are you cool with doing that? Yeah. Okay, so try the other one on your own and see if you can do that one. And I'm sure you'll be able to. Okay. Any you. questions?